And then you have the actual adapter, which to my surprise is much smaller than I thought it would be. It's pretty thin. It's got a really nice finish. It's got this matte finish, uh, high gloss on the front. Uh, I think the looks like the play sign sort of lights up there. And you've got an adapter. So you've got your typical USB-A port, which we'll use for our car. Then there's like a USB-A to USB-C adapter as well. I think the only way we might use that is if I'm guessing you can use the adapter itself as a small power bank, and this would allow us to do that. Uh, but let's put that aside and get to what we are set out to accomplish, which is to see how quickly this actually sets up. So I am going to turn the car on. So I got it plugged in there. Uh, I'm going to go to the Bluetooth is what I read on the quick start guide and see if I can find, oh, so there's some activity on the screen already. Um, looks like it's giving me three options. It's recognizing the right phone there. Oh, and there's a pair request. And it appears we're connected. Use CarPlay. See what happens. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Um, so let's just test responsiveness on this thing. Seems fantastic. I can still use my steering steering wheel volume control. The audio is great. I don't notice any degradation from that perspective. So yeah, this looks very promising. Uh, connection was super easy. I'll try connecting my phone as well. I'll use it for a while. I'll give you any additional feedback that I realized from that perspective. But um, this seems to be a winner. Uh, the connection was really, really simple to walk through.